Hello. Today in this video, I'm gonna discuss about G-protein coupled receptors, their structure, function and the mechanism of action. G-protein coupled receptors or GPCRs are transmembrane proteins made up of a single polypeptide chain and span seven times through the plasma membrane. Each receptor has an N-terminal extracellular domain and a C-terminal intracellular domain. Ligands such as peptide hormones which cannot pass through the cell membrane bind to the extracellular domain and trigger intracellular signaling cascades, which mediate the functions of that particular ligand. G-proteins are a group of membrane-resident proteins which recognize the activated GPCRs and relay their messages in order to elicit the cellular effects of the ligand. G-protein consists of three subunits, alpha, beta, and gamma. The gamma subunit is anchored to the plasma membrane via a fatty acid chain. In the resting state, G-protein exists as the alpha-beta-gamma trimer, which may or may not be pre-coupled to the receptor. And in the resting state, GDP is bound to the alpha subunit of the G-protein. When an agonist molecule binds with the receptor, a conformational change occurs. This causes interaction of the receptor with the G-protein. This reaction occurs within around 50 milliseconds. GDP dissociates from the alpha subunit and GTP binds. This causes the activation of G-protein and release of the alpha-GTP fragment and beta-gamma dimer from each other. Alpha-GTP and beta-gamma dimer are the active forms of the G-protein. Alpha-GTP can bind with effector enzymes like adenyl cyclase and phospholipase C and activate them. Beta-gamma subunit mainly binds to ion channels or kinases and activate them. There are four types of pharmacologically important G proteins have been identified. They are G stimulatory, G inhibitory, G node, and GQ proteins. Now let's discuss a bit about the adenyl cyclase pathway. Adenyl cyclase is a membrane bound enzyme which is activated by G stimulatory proteins and inhibited by G inhibitory proteins. When activated, it catalyzes the conversion of ATP into cyclic AMP. Cyclic AMP activates CAMP-dependent protein kinases, and these kinases cause phosphorylation of certain enzymes, according to the agonist molecule which bound to the receptor. In the phospholipase C pathway, when the agonist binds with the receptor, it activates a GQ protein, rather than activating a G-stimulatory protein. Activated GQ protein then activates the enzyme phospholipase C. This enzyme catalyzes the cleavage of phosphatidyl inositol biphosphate into diacylglycerol and inositol triphosphate. The IP3 receptor, which is a ligand-gated calcium channel, is located on the membrane of the endoplasmic reticulum. Binding of IP3 with its receptor causes release of calcium ions into the cytoplasm. Thus, the main goal of IP3 is to increase the cytosolic calcium ion concentration. These calcium ions aid in muscle contraction and activation of certain enzymes. DAG causes increase in protein kinase C levels within the cell. PKC causes phosphorylation of certain enzymes and proteins.